Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna show how to use Mixama characters in Elements 3D. Let's get started. First step, go to Mixama.com and click Browse Character. Okay. Let's use this character. Okay, use this character, click here. Okay, nice. Then go to animations and we can change these animations. Okay, with nice animation mockups. Let's select this, jumping down. Okay, nice. And we can change jumping down distance, overdrive, and character arm space. Okay, nice. Let's click download and select download settings FBX skin with skin. We can select without skin, but I need to download with skin and FPS K okay, and keyframe reduction none and click download okay nice our fpx file is downloading let's open cinema 4d so select this jumping down let's use okay and click ok let's see okay then go to extends and open script manager and click here Select this OBJ sequence export, okay, and click import. Nice. Let's add time 18, okay, 18 frame rate, and this is our composition frame rate, and this is start time, finish time, okay. Then click here and open sequence folder, add here animation, and click OK again click ok ok exporting is loading let's open this folder ok this is material and this is obj sequence nice ok export is done let's close cinema 4d so first step let's create new composition add name elements 3d and time 10 seconds frame rate 30 okay click ok then right mouse new solid add name elements 3d and ok go to fx video copilot and element then open scene setup and go to file import 3d sequence let's open this folder and select first animation sequence and import ok and click ok and select this folder go to select rotation and change rotation let's see ok nice then again go to scene setup and let's create new plane change scale and go to again create new box ok and change frame offset for C next pose. Select this plan model. Move to down. Nice. Select this box. Move to back. Okay, not bad. Click OK. Nice. Then go to again scene setup and let's make mini composition. Open presets and let's select texture. Maybe this texture and this. Okay. And open environment. Let's select uh, this environment HDR. Okay, and click OK. Then select this solid, open render settings and ambient occlusion, enable. And let's create new camera. 
Full control camera, press C. Okay. Okay, then right mouse and camera, orbit null. Go to first second, press P, make position keyframe. Go to here and move to camera animation. Select this element 3D, go to scene setup and select this character. Change offset to zero and click OK. Okay, select these two camera keyframes, move to down and press C. Move to back. Okay, nice. Press N and right mouse, select work area. Move to this keyframe to back. Okay, let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's select this elements 3D, go to again scene setup and select this box model and delete. Go to starter pack and select this rock. Okay, move to here, change scale, okay, click OK, nice, then select this embed occlusion intensity 10 and open physical environment, enable background environment and go to again scene setup, change environment HDR, maybe like this or this. Okay, and click OK, then open lighting, change none to cinema, okay, and select this camera one, open options, camera options, and depot field, click for on, change aperture, okay, and focus distance, let's see, okay, not bad, let's select elements 3D, and open rotation environment, change rotation. Okay, this environment is not good. Let's go to scene setup again and select this environment. Click OK. Change to zero rotations. Okay, this is not bad. So thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!